Hello everybody, I am Aaron Norris. It is June 1st and this is the Norris Group's Real Estate Headline Roundup in two. First up with the national numbers, FHFA says 30-year mortgages under 417,000 increased 9 basis points to 4.21% in April. However, since April, mortgage rates have dropped 5 weeks in a row to 3.75% according to Freddie Mac as concern over Europe's debt crisis increases. Nielsen reports consumers aren't feeling so confident these days. The Consumer Confidence Index has its third month drop to 64.9 in April. Consumers are pessimistic about jobs and the short-term outlook for business conditions. The delinquency rate on commercial mortgage-backed securities hit an all-time high of 10% in May, according to TREP. Hotel, industrial, and office loans are showing the worst showings, with commercial residential faring a little better. RealtyTrack reported short sales were at their highest in three years in the first quarter of this year at 109,521. This is a 25% increase year over year and 16% increase from this previous quarter. RealtyTrack also said that 26% of all home sales in the U.S. in the first quarter were from properties in some state of foreclosure. Unemployment claims increased for the fourth quarter in a row and are now at 383,000. GDP growth in the first quarter grew at a slower pace at 1.9%. Federal regulators are likely to lower the required down payment for QRMs. If you missed it, QRM stands for Qualified Residential Mortgage. Under the Dodd-Frank Act, banks that offer loans to consumers with less than 20% down would be forced to hold 5% credit risk on their books to be able to sell it to the secondary market. The Consumer Protection Bureau has sort of taken over and is supposed to finish setting guidelines this year. It now looks like the 20% down option is off the table and that is a good thing. California Attorney General Kamala Harris announced Wednesday that parts of the California Homeowner Bill of Rights was passed by the Senate and State Assembly. AB 1763 and SB 1474 allows the Attorney General to convene a special grand jury to investigate and indict perpetrators of financial crimes involving victims in multiple jurisdictions. Um, also, AB 1950 just be, uh, passed out of the Assembly and extends the statute of limitations from one to three years to allow time to prosecute crimes such as charging up front fees for mortgage modification services. Um, you're going to want to check out oag.ca.gov to read the other bills that are currently under discussion and part of the California Own Homeowner Bill of Rights. Um, they could change quite a few things in the state of California, some for the good, some for the not so good. That's it for the headlines today, but you can check out many more stories on our blog at thenorrisgroup.com slash blog. Up on the radio show this week, we've got our uh, friend and chief economist at the California Association of Realtors, Leslie Appleton Young. June 2nd, that's tomorrow, Saturday, we're going to be doing brunch, the Cutting Edge Financial Tactics Brunch out in Costa Mesa with Keystone CPA and Udirect IRA. And June 5th, we're going to be at the Predictive Methods Conference by Veros out in uh, the Orange County area. Uh, for information on hard money loans, all five programs, check out thenorrisgroup.com. Or if you're looking to make 9%, you can always check out tngtrustdeeds.com. Have a fantastic Friday and weekend, and we'll see you next week.